Hello again! We are back to our maths lesson today and we are looking at, ooh, I use a number line to help me subtract. Now, if you've been watching some of the other videos, you'll know that we also can use a number line to help us add. Actually, the number line is really useful. We can use it for multiplication and division as well, so we'll find that out in some later videos. I use number line to help me subtract. Okay, let's just get straight into it. So, if I had a, a subtraction question a bit like this, 56 take away 14. Now, I've got to be thinking to myself now, I'm a year three, year four sort of mathematician, do I really need to use a written method for that? When I look at these numbers, actually what I could just do, I think in my head, well, yeah, six take away four is two, 50 take away 10 is 40, oh, the answer's 42. I don't really need to get into a written method to solve this problem, okay? Sometimes, however, I might get a question like this, 56 take away 17. And now when I say to myself, right, so, Six take away seven is, oh, and I get a little bit stuck, okay? So, we're gonna work out the method that's gonna make this really easy for us. It is the number line. Here it is, okay. Now, another word for subtraction, it's really important to know this, is difference between, difference between. Now, we've gotta be careful because sometimes uh, someone might show you uh, this and say, what's the difference between a square and a circle? And you would go, oh, I know, uh, a square's got four sides, a circle's only got one side, a square has four right angles in it as well. And I go, okay, yeah, brilliant. That's the difference between it. But someone might say to you, what is the difference between five and three? And you're not meant to be saying, oh, well, uh, the five has a straight bit at the top and uh, the three looks like it's got uh, two curves on it, a bit like half an eight. Uh, no, that's not what the teacher's asking. When the teacher says what is the difference between five and three, they're basically saying what's five take away three? What is the gap between these two numbers? And of course the answer would be two. The difference between these two numbers is two. Okay, really important that we get that key language. All right, so difference between. Okay, difference between. So let's have a look. We're going to put the 17 here, and we're going to put the 56 there. Hmm. Why have I done that? If you've got a partner or somebody working next to you, what I want you to do is discuss why have I put the 17 there? Why have I put the 56 there? I mean, when we did addition, we put the bigger number at the start. Pause. Now that you've had a little discussion, you'll remember that actually, because we're finding the difference between, we know what our start point is, we know what our end point is. We're looking to see what is the gap between these two numbers. And the reason I don't put the 56 at the start and the 17 at the end, well, it's way easier to add on than it is to take away, or at least I find it. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. First thing I'm going to do is use my number bonds. Just like number lines, number bonds are going to keep popping up all over the place. Remember that they are two numbers that we add together to make... 10, okay, so four plus six is 10. These are number bonds. They might also be two tens we add together to make 100. These are all number bonds. It's really important to be super quick with your number bonds and make sure that they're all learnt. It might be worth now if you're not sure of your number bonds, just to take a bit of time to practice them. So my first number bond for seven, well, it's three. Some of you might be saying, why do I need to use my number bonds? That is why adding from a 10 is so easy. Anyone can add from a 10, okay? If I said to you, what is nine, add nine, ugh, you might have a little bit of a panic. If I said to you, what is 10, add eight, you'd say 18, okay? Anything you add from a 10 is really, really easy. So look, I've got to 20, now I need to get to 56. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add 30 on to get me to 50, and then all I've got left is six to get to 56. And I've done it. I found the difference between it. All I do is I add these up. 30, 6 plus 3 is 9. Done. The difference between these two numbers is 39. 56 take away 17 is 39. Let's just try that one more time to make sure that that wasn't just a, a little trick because you might be saying to yourself, it can't be that easy. Right, let's have a go at this. 62 minus 46. Number line. 
Tell the person next to you, what am I going to put at the start? What am I going to put at the end? Pause. That's right. I'm going to put 46 at the start, 62 at the end. First thing I'm going to do, you're all shouting it, number bonds. My number bond for six is four, gets me to 50. Oh my goodness, how easy is this? Last time I did a jump of 10 and then a jump of two. To be honest, I could just add 12 on now, can't I? If you're still struggling with uh, that, then what I could have done is I could have done one jump of 10 to get me to 60 and another jump of two to get me to 62. Okay, so 12 and four, 16. The difference between these two numbers is 16. Super, super easy. Okay, it's your turn to have a little go at some and see how well you do. So, let's have a go at this. We'll do 76 minus 57. We'll do 32 minus 19. And we'll do 87 and take away 58. Okay, off you go. Pause. Right, now that we're back, let's have a look at how we solve all of these questions. It's going to be pretty straightforward, to be honest. My number line for the first one, I'm going to put 57 here. I'm going to put 76 there. My number bond is 7. Add the 3, gets me to 60. I'm going to add 10 to get me to 70. I'm going to add 6 to get me to 76. 10. 16, 19. Next one, 32 to 19. Let's have a look. Number bond. Put my 32 at the start, put my 19 at the end. What have I done wrong? I popped these the wrong way around, haven't I? Put my 19 at the start, put my 32 at the end. Number bond, well, just one gets me to 20. And then, oh, to be honest, I'm just going to add 12. That's really easy. Answer is 13. Let's have a look at this last one, 87 to 58. So, put the smaller one first, 58, I'm going to 87, okay? First number bond, I'm gonna add two, which gets me to 60, okay? Now I need to get to 87, I'm gonna add myself a 20 to get to 80, and then I'm gonna add the seven on to get to 87. So 20, 27, 28, 29. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Okay, got a little challenge for you then. This is what I want you to do. I want you to add any two numbers, I mean subtract, sorry. So subtract two numbers, brackets, two digit, and get the answer, 11. So what you're going to do, you're going to pick two two-digit numbers and when you subtract them, it's going to get to 11. A little bit confused by what I'm saying. Then, for example, I could have uh, 25 take away 14 and I could just check that on a number line, 14. So I'd go to uh, add the 6, which would get me to... Um, 20, uh, and then I would add 5 to get me to 25, 5 and 6 is 11, okay? There's an example for you. I want to see how many you can do. Off you go, pause. Brilliant. Now that you're back and you've had a little go at making some of those, make sure you've got a parent to go and check them. Here's a slightly harder answer uh, question. The answer is still 11, but this time you've got to um, subtract two, um, two numbers where the numbers are Consecutive. And what do I mean by consecutive? Well, I mean it's one after the other. So my numbers could be, for example, I could have uh, 23, because 2 and 3 are consecutive. 1, 2, 3. They come after each other. Take away uh, 12, because 1 and 2 are consecutive numbers. 45 would be consecutive. 56 would be consecutive. 78 would be consecutive. Two numbers that come after each other. 23, take away 12, equals 
11. Okay? How many ways can you do consecutive numbers, taking away two consecutive numbers, to make 11? Off you go. Pause. Right, now you're back, you realise there was a little bit of a pattern to it. It wasn't really that hard, was it? So look, if I had a 34, uh, then I would be taking away 23. If I had a 45, I would be taking away um, 34. And actually, there's a little bit of a pattern that goes to it, isn't there? Okay, next. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look at some three-digit number subtraction. Okay, so 345 take away 200. And 69. I'm going to show you that actually this number line is really useful even for bigger numbers. So what I'm going to do, 269, 345 there. I'm going to just go through the same method as I did before and I'm going to use my number bonds. So number bond for 9, 1. That's going to get me to 270. Next I do my number bond for 70. Okay, so I've done the 1s, now I'm going to the 10s. Number bond for 70, you should all know, is 30. That's going to get me to 300. Okay, in fact, really easy now. What do I add to 300 to get to 345? Well, I add 45. See how easy it is when we get to these tens. Makes life so much easier for us. Okay, add all those together. 30 plus the 40, 70, 5 and 1, 6. So the answer is 76. Really straightforward. So all I'm going to get you to do is have a little go at some of these questions. So questions for you, we'll have uh, 3, 1, 2, take away 2, 7, 4, we'll have um, 6, 5, 7, take away uh, 3, 9, 8, and we'll have one more, which will just be 7, 4, 2, take away 5, 6, 7. Okay, off you go, pause. Right, now that you're back, let's have a look, really easy, put my number lines in. Make life easy for myself. 274 to 312. So, first number bond, 6, gets me to 280. Next number bond, 20, gets me to 300. What do I add to 300 to get to 312? 12, so easy. 20 plus 12 is 32, plus 6 is 38. Next one. 3, 9, 8, to 6, 5, 7. First number bond, 2, gets me to, ooh, straight to 400. Gosh, this is going to be much easier than I thought. Let's go to 600 then. Add 200, gets us to 600, and then I'm just adding 57, aren't I? 57. So I add these up, 200 plus 50 is 250, 7 plus 2 is 9, so it equals 259. Last one. First number bond. Well, let's put the numbers on. So we've got five, six, seven, to seven, four, two. Number bond for seven, add three, gets me to 570. Uh, next number bond for 70 is 30, gets me to 600. Let's get to 700. Add 100, gets us to 700. And then we can add 42. And all I need to do now is add all of these up. So we've got uh, 100, because I've got the 100 there, I've got the 40 plus the 30, which gets me to 70, and the 2 and the 3 gets me to 5. There you go. Now remember, there are lots of different ways to uh, come up with these questions yourself. Just pick some random numbers, have a little go, test yourself, and uh, well done, keep learning.